Cultural relativism is the principle that an individual's beliefs and activities should be understood by others in terms of that individual's own culture. This concept promotes the idea that no culture is superior to another and that moral and ethical systems are relative to cultural context. The term cultural relativism was introduced by anthropologist Franz Boas in the early 20th century. Boas challenged the prevailing ethnocentric views of his time, arguing that civilizations are complex and cannot be ranked in a simple hierarchy. Boas's students, such as Ruth Benedict and Margaret Mead, further developed this idea, emphasizing the importance of understanding cultures on their own terms and within their specific historical and environmental contexts. Here are two examples of cultural relativism. First, consider the practice of arranged marriages in some cultures. From a cultural relativist perspective, this practice should be understood within the context of the society's traditions, values, and social structures, rather than judged against the norms of cultures that prioritize individual choice in marriage. Second, think of the dietary restrictions in various religions, such as the prohibition of pork in Islam and Judaism. Cultural relativism encourages us to understand these dietary laws within the framework of each religion's beliefs, history, and cultural significance. Let's look at three benefits of cultural relativism. First, cultural relativism fosters greater cultural understanding and tolerance. By recognizing that different cultures have their own valid ways of life, individuals can become more open-minded and respectful of cultural diversity. Second, it helps prevent ethnocentrism, the belief that one's own culture is superior to others. By understanding that cultural norms and values are relative, people are less likely to impose their own cultural standards on others. Third, cultural relativism promotes anthropological and sociological research. Researchers can study cultures without bias, leading to more accurate and nuanced understandings of human societies. Now let's explore three criticisms of cultural relativism. First, this concept can be seen as endorsing moral relativism, where all cultural practices are deemed equally valid, even those that may violate human rights. Critics argue that this can lead to ethical dilemmas when cultural practices are harmful or oppressive. Second, cultural relativism can hinder social progress. By accepting all cultural practices as relative, it may become difficult to advocate for changes or improvements within a culture, especially in areas related to gender equality or human rights. Third, it can create challenges in international relations and global governance. When cultural relativism is applied rigidly, it can be difficult to establish common ground or universal standards for issues like human rights, environmental protection, and social justice. Cultural relativism is often compared to cultural universalism. Watch this video to learn all about the cultural universal perspective. I'll see you there.